Welcome. Little kids usually learn about the world and play with friends by running around. But what if you are a child with a mobility impairment? Power wheelchairs for toddlers are practically non-existent. Traditional power wheelchairs cost thousands of dollars, and if a child might eventually walk, insurance won't cover the cost. Happily, Cole Galloway, a professor of physical therapy at the University of Delaware, found a solution. He realized that he could modify ride-on cars that he saw at a toy store to be used by toddlers with disabilities. The modified toy car only costs around $200. The standard modification is not that difficult to do. You replace the pedal with a large, more easily pushed button and add a backrest. The nonprofit organization called Go Baby Go has spread around the world focusing on making these modifications to cars for kids. Physical therapists working at the CDRC, a clinic in Eugene, asked if cars could be made to drive like a power wheelchair, and South Eugene Robotics team members started the project of designing and then writing instructions for a joystick-controlled model. Unlike the button modification, adding a joystick takes longer and requires more technical work. Instead of replacing a single switch, many new parts need to be soldered in, along with adding a PVC pipe frame. Hannah Carey Brown, a physical therapist from the CDRC, spoke with CERT about why these cars are so helpful to the kids she works with. To understand why Go Be Go is important, I think it's really important that you kind of put yourself in the mindset of a toddler. So when we think about typical development at nine months is when we typically see babies learning to crawl. And it's through crawling that babies really learn to explore their environment, and that's how we learn cause and effect. That's how we learn early language skills. That's how we learn how to interact with the environment. If any of you have ever had, you know, a little baby sibling, you might remember like they're getting into everything. They're pulling the stand on the covers. They're getting things out of the drawers. Um, they're running around the playground. They're learning how to interact with their environment, um, and it's through that mobility that they learn how the world works. So when we take a typically or an atypically developing child who's maybe you know 12 months old, 18 months old, two years old, and then you know three years old, and maybe they're not yet sitting on their own, we think about you know their development with their environment is all passive. So for them, the world has to come to them because they are stationary. So in order to interact with someone, someone has to come up to them to interact with them. In order to get a toy, they have to make their needs known, and their parent or their sibling has to bring them the toy. Um, it's a you know it's a very different experience from what a typical toddler is going through. So as therapists, we think about what can we do to provide adaptive equipment at the same time that the peer is accessing their environment. So instead of waiting until five to help somebody get up and walk, um, we're going to do it at eight months because it's eight months old is when babies typically start to crawl. Um, and so the research has actually shown that a baby as young as eight months old can learn to drive a go baby go car. And that kind of shook the clinical world. It wasn't something that we ever thought was possible. It's not something that people ever really tried. Because when we look at young children, it's typically been the wait and see. So I think that when you work on go baby go, um, if that resonates with you, you can think about it as social justice. Because really what you're doing is you're providing mobility that otherwise is unavailable to these kids who eventually become adults. Go to go is something that you know a lot of therapists are involved in, but it's not something that we can really do. When I first started working at Go Baby Go, um, and they were modifying the fire truck car, I was like, I tried to modify a car, and it didn't even work when I was done. So then all of you who have worked on cars and who will work on cars, you have skills beyond what medical professionals have. Um, you have something that we can't provide to people, and without all of you working on this project, we don't have anything to offer people. Um, without cars, you know, we're handing out cars more and more regularly now. When we run out of cars, we're missing a key piece of our medical intervention for these kids. So it's really that we depend on you and the community to provide this for our families. We're able to now take kids who are previously not having a cause and effect their environment and they're learning how to go get something. So for young kids they, who haven't moved on their own power yet, they might not necessarily understand that movement is power, right? So when we want a glass of water, we just stand up, walk, and go get that, and we get something out of it that meets our needs. For children who aren't yet mobile, they don't necessarily know how to access their environment to get their needs met, 
And so by being able to teach kids how to move forward and back to access something from their environment, we're able to help improve their cognitive abilities and capacities in the future so they can understand the real ramifications of their own independent mobility. We want kids getting into things. We want kids to be naughty. We want them to get into trouble. A lot of these kids have never really heard the word no because they've never really done anything, right? But then as soon as they get in the car, like five seconds in, we're like, no, 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 not the TV! Because they're crashing into things and they're getting into covers they shouldn't have access before. And it's so completely appropriate for their development only that we want to see that kind of behavior. Um, so I think that, yeah, that's a great example. Um, instead of sitting by and watching other kids play, other kids are coming up to them. And they're initiating play and interactions um, and really changing the conversation about disability. Uh, Luca uh, is in, unable to stand, sit, so walk, or talk, and this has um, given him opportunities that otherwise he wouldn't have.